This is an update video on using the VCM muzzler after 7 years and 100,000 miles on this 2014 Honda Odyssey. In an earlier video, I cover six questions about VCM and VCM muzzler during a five year and 70,000 mile review. If you have not seen that video, click on the link in the description box. So therefore, I'll start this video with question number seven. Is this VCM issue real? It's real enough for a class action lawsuit against Honda. And there was a settlement. Granted that the settlement period is over, nonetheless, there is enough owners experiencing those VCM issues. I'm sure there are many owners out there that never had a problem with their engine. You may be the lucky one. As you know, some owners experience problems with their cars, some don't. Question number eight. Have I experienced any issues? None at all. The engine has been perfect from day one till now. No oil consumptions, no strange vibration or noises. It's running the way it always has since I bought the vehicle new. I recently took it to service twice to get the timing belt replaced, water pump and tensioner, and then recently the valve adjustment and the spark plugs. So the technician did a inspection and review of the engine. Everything looks great. No issues. And the spark plugs looks fine. They can probably go a couple of more thousand miles, but I've decided to replace them while I have the time. And I took it to a Honda dealership rather than a mechanic or do it myself is because I wanted the Honda technician to look at the vehicle to make sure that there's nothing else that could be wrong. And looking at the spark plugs myself, they are all pretty much evenly wear. That not one is worse than the other which was the issue I experienced with two other Hondas where both of the spark plugs were uh, foul because of the VCM and that caused a check engine light misfiring and um, with the class action lawsuit, Honda did reimburse me for the repairs made on those vehicles. Question number nine, at 100,000 miles, what do I have to say? Well, I think the VCM muzzler has done its job in preventing some of the issues commonly associated with VCM. The only other thing I notice is that my thermostat sometimes gets stuck. That's probably something I have to fix later on. So every once in a while, even with the VCM muzzler on, I will still get the echo light, the ECO light. And therefore that would tell me that sometimes the VCM would be activated, but then it quickly goes away once the vehicle starts to move. The thermostat is not related to the VCM issues. That's just something that happens when the vehicle gets old. So I'll probably not do another review on the VCM muzzler till maybe 200,000 miles. But then I'm not sure I'm gonna keep the vehicle that long just because I'm sure by that time, I probably want a newer vehicle with more safety technology and so forth. So with that, I will say thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. If there's any question I can answer on the VCM muzzler and my experience using it,
please leave a comment below. Thank you.